ANC is holding memorial services in Pretoria today to honor late Minister Edna Mulewa. Mulewa passed away last month after a short illness at the age of 61. For more, we cross to our reporter Patricia Visahi in Pretoria. Good afternoon, Patricia. Do share to us the sentiment and the feeling around at the memorial service. <laughs> of environmental affairs Edna Mulewa is once again uh, remembered uh, here as her political home the ANC is gathering in their numbers to of course hold a memorial service in her honor here you can see um, that uh, of course the uh, comrades have taken their seats uh, behind me if you can just uh, see that a whole lot of people have gathered here of course at uh, this particular rugby stadium where they are um, just uh, paying tribute to the fallen uh, minister uh, here in uh, Brett. So let's speak to the ANC spokesperson, Bule Mabi, just to unpack what we can expect for the rest of the day. Uh, we are behind schedule. The program was supposed to start about an hour ago, um, but I seem, seemingly it seems like it is, of course, all systems go at this moment. Well, of course, uh, like you are saying, people have come in their numbers to celebrate the life of uh, uh, Mayor Edna Muliwa. Um, from across uh, the different parts of the province of the Northwest, including other provinces in the Republic of South Africa. There's going to be a tribute delivered on behalf of the African National Congress by the Secretary General. There is also going to be a tribute delivered by the President of the ANC, Uman Slick, who served with Comrade Edna in the National Executive Committee, both of the ANC and that of the ANC Uman Slick. Many other comrades that uh, Comrade Edna served and led with, including the Chapitan Ch Comrade Peter Chabeleg unit will also be here. We are expecting that comrades will express themselves on how they knew Comrade Edna, how they worked with the structures of the African National Congress, and share with us the kind of a person that she was. We have already conveyed messages to the extent that Comrade Edna was an upright individual. She served the organization with greater loyalty and she was selfless. Now it is befitting that our people have come in their numbers like this to celebrate this life. Security is extremely tight, perhaps unusual for what one would expect at a memorial service. Is there a particular reason? Could this perhaps be linked to some of the um, affections that we have seen and the instability in the Northwest itself? Well, just to also tell you that they are not necessarily here as securities. They are also here as people who worked with Comrade Edna. They've all volunteered that uh, they will do marshalling work and all of that but remember that she used to be a premier of this province she was also the chairperson of the ANC in this province so you are gonna see a greater will of volunteers a greater army of volunteers coming here so the volunteers include the army of police that we see around well this well you've got security you've got a lot of them are volunteers uh, the ones you are seeing a lot of volunteers here because these are part of they're part of the ANC machinery as well of course police are here as part of a uh, public order policing it has got nothing to do with uh, any other issue except that that they too are citizens of this province they are also here to also honor Mam uh, Mamole in two days, uh, the fallen minister will be taken to a final resting place. What can we expect perhaps tomorrow? Is there any program of action tomorrow to continue with uh, the actions to honor her? Of course, uh, the, 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 there is an activity at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow to drape the coffin with the flag. We will also be communicating what are some of the activities that will be happening tomorrow as part of the night vigil. The ANC is going to make sure that until she reaches a uh, last resting place. Uh, there's a lot of celebrations of her life throughout uh, all the nine provinces in the Republic. All right, thank you so much. Let's leave it at that. ANC spokesperson uh, Bule Mabe here just uh, giving us a layout of what we can expect for the uh, rest of the day as the memorial service is underway here to honor the fallen minister Edna Mule.
Mulewa. As you can see, of course, uh, her comrades, as I said, mentioned, as I mentioned earlier, they have come out in their numbers to pay tribute and uh, just to pay their last respects. Now, in uh, perhaps less than 48 hours, uh, the minister will be taken to a final resting place through an official uh, funeral. That will be, of course, a Category 1 send-off. She will be um, laid to rest at the Zonfontein Cemetery uh, west of uh, Pretoria. But as you can see here, all systems uh, go as, uh, of course, the memorial service of her political home, the ANC, is underway to, of course, just pay their last respects and really just share in the lives and times of their comrade, of their friend, and as they have said repeatedly since her passing, um, a gallant freedom fighter who has served uh, the people of South Africa with great excellence. Let's give it back to you in studio. Patricia Visaki, appreciate your time there uh, out in Brits, of course, as we take a look at Edna Molewa's memorial service. We'll continue to unpack that.